Hello everyone, this is Albert, and in this recorded video, I'm going to talk about Medicare Advantage plans and other options, section four of your Medicare and You book. Starting on page 59, the topic we're beginning with is, what do I pay? Let's begin. What do I pay? Your out-of-pocket costs in a Medicare Advantage plan depend on whether the plan charges a monthly premium. You pay this in addition to the Part B premium. So that $144.60, if there's a premium to your Medicare Advantage, you're going to pay both premiums. Whether the plan pays any of your monthly Medicare premiums, some Medicare Advantage plans will help pay all or part of your Part B premium. This benefit is sometimes called a Medicare Part B premium reduction. Whether the plan has a yearly deductible or any de any additional deductibles for certain services. How much you pay for each visit or service, co-pays or co-insurance. Medicare Advantage plans cannot charge more than original Medicare for certain services like chemotherapy, dialysis, and skilled nursing facility care. The type of health care services you need and how often you get them. Whether you get services from a network provider or a provider that doesn't contract with the plan, if you go to a doctor, other health care provider, facility, or supplier that doesn't belong to the plan's network for non-emergency or non-urgent care services, your services may not be covered or your costs could be higher. In most cases, this applies to Medicare Advantage HMOs and PPOs. So what just bottom line is in an HMO, you must use doctors within the network. If you go to a PPO and you use a doctor out of network, you'll pay a higher cost. In an HMO, if you go out of network, you'll pay 100% of the cost. Next bullet. Whether you go to a doctor or supplier who accepts assignment, if you're in a PPO, private fee for service plan, or medical savings plan, and you go out of network, see page 53 for more information about assignment. Whether the plan offers extra benefits in addition to original Medicare benefits, and if you need to pay extra to get them, the plan's yearly limit on your out-of-pocket costs for all Part A and Part B medical services. Once you reach the limit, you'll pay nothing for Medicare Part A and Part B covered services. That's a very big deal. Medicare Advantage plans provide a ceiling for your care, so if you hit that ceiling, you won't have to pay anything for Part A or Part B medical services if you reach that ceiling. Whether you have Medicaid or get extra help from your state. To learn more about your costs in specific Medicare Advantage plans, visit medicare.gov forward slash plan compare. And that concludes this training video on what do I pay section four Medicare Advantage plans and other options. Thank you very much for your time.